Ron back here and we're here today to talk about the GoPro Hero 12. And one of the, the you know the new things to tell you about the uh, the Hero 12 is a uh, update, well not even an update really, just an addition. Um, all along, uh, for years now, GoPros I had a companion app called the Quick App that ran on your phone, uh, say iPhone, Android, or whatever. And it was an app that could allow you to sync all your, uh, you need a video over there and edit it. And you, if you paid money, you could store it in the cloud and so on. A very useful app or whatever. I think it was maybe the, uh, it predated all the other action cameras, apps or whatever. So kind of okay. And used to have a different name too. So it was kind of a trailblazer. And, um, you know, just recently, in the last, you know, just 2024 sometime, they've added a desktop companion app uh, for the Mac, at least. I, I believe it's on Windows also, but I can confirm it's on Mac. I've used it. So we're going to kind of go over um, the features of the, of the uh, desktop Mac app, uh, the, the quick app for the, the, again, for the GoPro Hero 12. And and we're going to you know, use some screen recordings and show you, you know, what, maybe what benefits it would have to you. And of course, these has benefits you even more if you're a, a GoPro subscriber, you know, where you have uh, access to a lot of the cloud features here. And, uh, you know, I know I'm, I'm talking about the Hero 12 and a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people use the, um, the DJI Action 4, which came out roughly the same time as the Hero 12 did uh, last fall, uh, last summer, late summer, early fall. And then a lot of people have uh, fallen in love with the um, new um, Insta360 Ace Pro, and they have a regular Ace 2, but most people have the Ace Pro. And and I do not have the Ace Pro, so I cannot comment, you know, on it as, you know, from any first-hand use. What I've seen from it uh, in other people's videos and reviews, it seems like a, you know, very good action camera. I do have the um, the Action 4, uh, as well as the, the Hero 12, so... Um, I like both of them, you know, uh, you know, if you had to push me, maybe uh, I'd say I'd like the Action uh, 4 a little bit better than 12. And I've, I've gone over that in other videos, so I'm not going to get into it here. So, uh, yeah, let's just get into some of the benefits of uh, having the DJI uh, Quick App, uh, you know, on your computer. And a little, you know, like uh, we do some, through some screen recordings, do a little, you know, show and tell here for you folks. So, with no further ado. Okay, I'm here on my... Um MacBook Pro, um, I have the Quick App open on full screen mode, and uh, I'm on the late I'm on the latest version of uh, Mac OS as of um, March second, two thousand twenty four. So if anybody has any questions about any software, whatever the current OS was that day, I'm on it. So um, let's brighten the screen a little bit if we can here. And uh, is at the top here. I have it uh, uh, in full screen mode, but you can see up in the upper left hand corner it says a quick app, and you have the usual, you know, file menu that you have in almost all apps. There's a playback, but not nothing too, just the generic stuff. If you know any Mac app, that's all the generic stuff over there. So okay, starting on the left hand side here, you have media. We're on all media right now, and you can go by uh, all, which is what it's on now, days, months. Uh, years and this is how you you know categorized it on your um you know uh, the, as i categorized it on the quick app on the uh on the phone you know the uh over the years and being part of the uh gopro um you know, subscription plan where i can load stuff up to the clouds okay so recently added they have that here um add your device media will show here so this is if you want to add new media to the button right here um okay so uh, studio here's suggestions uh, subscribe uh, for audio highlights video okay uh, I'm not as subscribe I'm not subscribed to premium right now so I don't know how to have this option here's my edits I've made in the past here um, you know they're, they're saved here um, and then down here it shows I have the GoPro connected I have the hero 12 connected and then you can see some of my recent uh, clips on there now that I can uh, you know transfer over so uh, that takes care of the left hand side now here we have a filter button up here so uh you can fill by all media formats or photos videos um uh, edited edited videos uh highlights uh which is um you know uh a, a thing i it's too much to explain right here but it's something you do to highlight different portions of the video to come back to edit later um uh, sort by capture date uh, file size and newest first or you can click that to you know oldest you know newest 
So uh, that's for the filter menu. Then over here, we showed you the years, months, uh, date, and all. Over here, you can see the um, user information here, um, uh, preferences. So, um, and then uh, let's see, close this out here. Uh, over here, it just shows you uh, some of the deals here. You can get 50% off premium subscriptions right now, which that used to be a good thing when a new GoPro came out because you got like, you know, uh, quite a bit of money off, but I think they've ended that for now. So let's go back to, you know, all media again here. So you could take a photo here. We'll use the topmost photo here. This is a photo here. And uh, you see how you have your editing tools down below here. So you hit that editing button. You have different various filters you can use over here on the right. Um, you can, uh, you know, three different options. I'm going to show you down here. So there's your filters. It kind of goes on and on here, you know, uh, and you can put the strength of the filter down here. I'm not going to do an editing uh, demo in here, maybe an event of the video here. This is like a quick and dirty overview of the app here. Then you can do adjustments here where you can do your normal stuff, exposure, contrast, vibrance, temperature, um, you know, or white balance, some people call it shadows and highlights here. You can always reset up here in case you, you know, do some editing and, and you make it worse than it was in the first place. Then you can pick different frames here. You know, this is a, an 8x7 here, which is popular with, um, you know, because at that point, if you do this, you can either turn it into a um, standard um, landscape or you can turn it into a, uh, like a more of a 916 by for, you know, Instagram and, you know, TikTok type people. So, you know, uh, the, the editing here, and there's a horizon leveling here, which is kind of neat um, button here. Uh, so, um, you know, this, uh, you know, certainly not the most full-featured editing program I ever saw, but it, this is free. Uh, you can get some simple edits if you want to edit stuff on the go. You don't want to do it really quick here. So, um, yeah, and here up here, they have a, like a, a delete button. If you want to delete a photo, you can get information on a shot here, like I took that on. October 5th, um, shows the custom resolution, 5568 by 4872, uh, so that's like probably the, whatever their high, you know, they have over 4K, it's probably like a 5 or 6K, and it shows the file size, 5.2 megabytes, so useful information, and you can also, um, uh, you know, say this here, this, and you can say this to, you know, your documents or any place you want on your hard drive, so, um, yeah, very, very useful here. Now, that was a photo. Let's take a look at a video here. Okay, here's a video here. Um, see if it's any different. And, of course, you got a whole different set of videos here, of course, and it takes a, a little bit longer to load here with a video. So uh, I'll cut part of this out if it takes too long to uh, download the video here from, from the, uh, the cloud to the computer. Okay, so you have the video here. You have all the markers down here. Uh, you can play it here. You can you know, open it, put the sound up and down. I don't know if this had any sound. There's editing functions. So you got more, a lot more editing tools in here for videos. You got, you trim it, you can apply filters, adjustments. Sort of the same adjustments as the other one here. Probably s similar filters. Uh, you frame it. You know, all which all was in photos too. Photos didn't have trim, of course, and photos didn't have volume. So here's stickers you can put in. You can speed up, slow it down here. So um, I've kind of froze it up already here. I'm clicking the buttons too fast. But you know, you have again, you know, this basically the same editing tools you had in the Quick App on the uh, on the phone here. So if you're used to using the Quick App on your phone, it'd be real easy to over use it over here in the computer. So let me kind of go back here if I can. So again, you won't see that um, you know the GoPro, the Hero 12 attached unless you. I have, you have it connected via, um, I have it connected via USB-C cable. Uh, now, when you quick, when you connect to the quick app, you're usually doing that through, um, like Bluetooth, I think it's Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, wirelessly anyways, where this is, this is, uh, going on a, uh, wire connection here. So, okay, that was our little tour around the quick app for the desktop. Again, this is a free download, uh, Apple App Store, um, you know, you don't have to be a premium subscriber or anything to, to download this. You're going to get more features, of course. If you're a premium user as far as, um, you know, a storage in the cloud and, and that type of thing. Oh. But, uh, okay, folks, I hope you like that little tour around the uh, the new uh, Quick App for 
the uh, for Mac OS or Mac uh, yeah Mac OS for the computer. The uh, iOS is for the, the iPads. And you know I did I did mention that the Quick App does run on on the iPhone and the iPad, but only in in uh, you know vertical mode, not not landscape. Or on the computer, you get the landscape version. So that's nice for us landscape guys. The guys that aren't the TikTokers and the uh, Instagrammers or whatever. We we like our landscape view. So again, hope you like that. Um, little uh kind of first look at the uh, desktop app for the uh you know for the hero uh for the hero 12 and if you have any questions about the hero 12 the, the quick app uh the quick app for the mac you just leave let them you know, leave them down in the comments below and again that just does you know, just does give you a nice little leg up because uh, as far as i know there is no companion app for um uh, the dji um uh, memo app um you know which which runs the uh all their uh, action cameras, the Action 4, Action 3, Action 2, whatever, the, the Mimo app, and the Pocket 3 as well. Um, you know, and I don't think there's a desktop. Well, no, sorry, the Insta360 does have a desktop companion app. I know for the 360 cameras, but, and I'm guessing that the, uh, the, Ace Pro will run on that too, but I, I can't confirm that because I do not have the Ace Pro. So, you know, in the comments, uh, uh, you know, uh, confirm below that the Ace Pro will run on the desktop version of uh, the Insta360 app. So, um, but I, I believe it should. So, anyhow, that's it. Uh, you know, just to go over a little gear talk here, I filmed this video on the DJI. Uh, Pocket 3, I'm using the DJI uh, wireless uh, mic 2 to record the audio. So that just gives you a little, little background. Use screen, uh, quick shot to record the screenshots that I got off the, uh, you know, the Mac version of the, um, the quick app. Okay, hello, this is Ron. You know, uh, one final time here. I want to remind everybody, if I dropped uh, any affiliate links in this video, uh, please uh, consider using my affiliate links. I am an Amazon affiliate seller. I do get a small commission for everything that you purchase through those links. It does help the uh, help the channel out, you know, grow, get more stuff in uh, for review to show you, you good folks. And uh, if you got anything on this video, give me the thumbs up. It helps the uh, video tremendously honestly gets to be seen by you know more viewers out there on YouTube and uh, you know while you're at it you might as well subscribe to the channel membership is free um, and it also helps the channel you know grow and be more successful and also ring that bell notification so you'll be notified when I put another video up uh, you know along the lines of you know what you saw today that you might be interested in viewing so that's it folks thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video